Welcome to Stokes Design TV. In this video we'll look at how to open Illustrator or EPS files in different CS versions. If you're having a problem or don't have access to the correct version, we offer a service for opening Illustrator files. Visit stokesdesignproject.com or click the link in the description, but hopefully this video will teach you how to do it yourself. Here is a file I created in the Creative Cloud version of Illustrator or AI. The file contains various elements including stroke text element along a path, a layer structure, compound path and other shapes with gradients. Let's save this as an EPS and we'll name it EPS just for clarity in this demonstration. Hit OK and let's try and open it in an older version of Illustrator. In this example I'll use CS6. As you can see an error comes up saying it can't open the illustration. The file was generated by a newer version of Illustrator. It didn't open properly and you can see the file is blank. Now let's try the AI file. Another error message comes up. The file was generated by a newer version. Would you like to import this file? Some data loss may occur. Hit OK and see what happens. In this case, at first glance, the file looks pretty good. But if we take a look at the text, it has been converted into shapes and it has lost all layer structure. And in some cases, the file will end up worse or even empty. OK, so those are the problems. How can we solve these? If you have an EPS and you don't have the newer version of AI, one possible option is to open it in Acrobat and save it as a PDF. First you will need to go into Acrobat, go open, and then change the view to all files, open the EPS file, and save it as a PDF. Now go back into AI, and you can open the PDF from there. A warning dialog box will come up saying objects have been reinterpreted. Hit OK and have a look at the file. As we can see, it opened fine, but as in the previous one, the gradient options are gone, the text is now shapes, and the layer structure has gone also. But at least we have the file open. The best way to preserve a file is to open it in the original version of AI it was created in. Go to Save As. You can choose AI or EPS. Let's name it CS6 just for clarity. Hit Save. Then another dialog box will appear. From here you can choose from the drop down menu legacy formats which version you would like to save it for. Choose the one you want then hit OK. A warning box will appear saving to legacy formats may cause changes to text layout and disable some editing features. Want to continue? Let's hit OK. Go back into CS6. We'll open up the file and have a look. As you can see, the layer structure remains, along with the gradients, each of the elements. You can still edit the text. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully one of these ways works for you. If not, feel free to check out our service using the link in the description, or going to stokesdesignproject.com. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us, or use the comment section below. Thanks for watching.